this video is being presented to inform you of MAGMA's team effort and research into selecting, installing, and maintaining cost-effective mine dewatering pumps, and to ask for your assistance in generating even further savings. In 1990, a team was formed to tackle the problem of how to extend pump life in our unique underground environment. This team consists of employees from our drill and blacksmith shop, pump shop, surface and underground employees, buyers from our purchasing department, and representatives of various manufacturers of dewatering pumps. Our goal is to reduce costs, minimize delays, and downtime, and provide the most reliable dewatering pump for your use. Our discussion today is broken down into two main elements. One, what we are doing to support you, and two, what you can do to enhance our collective efforts. You work in a tough, strenuous, and difficult environment one where water and aggressive liquids are often required to support the copper mining process. Our focus is on the removal of water, sludge, and other slurries that interfere with efficient copper production. You need a pump that is safe, simple to operate, and reliable. It must also be explosion proof and have the ability to handle a wide range of slurries. Given our acidic underground water, stainless steel pumps have proven to be the most reliable and cost effective. Your support people need a pump that is quick to troubleshoot and repair, contains a minimum number of parts, and is cost efficient to operate. Based upon the application and operation criteria, the most suitable pump available is the air-operated double diaphragm pump. This type pump meets the previous stated criteria and with some added modifications, it can provide you a reliable, efficient tool for your operations. A basic understanding of the pump is all that is required for safe and reliable operation. The air-operated double diaphragm pump is made up of two sections, wetted and non-wetted. The wetted section consists of those parts of the pump that come in contact with the liquid. They are the inlet housing, two pumping chambers, discharge housing, and outer diaphragm pistons. These metal parts are constructed of investment cast 316 stainless steel to provide superior performance when handling abrasive and aggressive liquids. The life expectancy of stainless steel is significantly longer than aluminum, cast iron, or plastics in this application. In addition to the metal wetted parts, there are non-metal wetted parts. Two neoprene diaphragms. Four neoprene valve balls. And four neoprene valve seats. Neoprene has been selected for general purpose use due to its abrasive and mildly aggressive liquid handling characteristics at minimal cost. Alternate elastomers, including Teflon, are available for specific applications. Wetted parts of the pump are securely held together with stainless steel clamp bands. The clamp band design greatly reduces repair time and allows rapid access to non-wetted parts for inspection, service, or replacement. The non-wetted section consists of those parts which operate the pump and are not usually in contact with the liquid. These parts are a brass and aluminum air valve, a brass and aluminum center block assembly, aluminum air chambers, 
a hard chromed steel shaft. Two aluminum inner diaphragm pistons. Seven Bunian center block O-rings. And an aluminum oil bottle. The aluminum parts are available in cast iron and 316 stainless steel. However, aluminum and brass were the materials we chose to keep both weight and cost to a minimum. Your drill shop has applied some in-house modifications to each new pump to improve reliability, performance, and ease of handling in your environment. One, a protective cover is fabricated to prevent external damage to the air valve body and piston. Two, a special tool is fabricated and permanently attached to the center section of the pump to allow quick access to the oil reservoir for servicing. A light oil, 10 weight maximum, is recommended for proper lubrication. Three, a stainless steel suction screen is fabricated and inserted into the inlet housing. This protects against large solids being ingested into the pump which can cause substantial damage to the internal parts. Items frequently found in the screens include rocks, nuts and bolts, gloves, paper towels, sunflower seeds, and even banana peels. Four, handles are fabricated and installed on each side of the pump for ease of movement and repositioning. Five, a steel base is also fabricated and added to the pump frame to increase stability during operation. These measures, combined with the basic pump unit, provide a more cost-effective, highly reliable pump unit to meet our needs and requirements. Now, let's take a look at what you can do to generate further cost savings in the areas of operation troubleshooting and repair of pumps. Due to the simplicity of this pump and the fact that it is compressed air driven, there are only a few precautions for proper operations. By being aware of these precautions, you can greatly enhance pump performance and reliability, minimize cost of operation, and reduce unnecessary maintenance and delays. One, Check oil reservoir with the tool provided prior to startup. The pump requires very little oil for operation. However, zero lubrication accelerates wear on the center block O-rings and shaft. Proper lubrication not only reduces wear, but also flushes the internals of the pump of contaminants that may be present in the air supply. The shaft and O-rings are the most important internal parts for reliable operation. They are inexpensive, but complete disassembly of the pump is required to replace them. And that's not inexpensive. Two, blow the air line out momentarily prior to connecting to the pump. This reduces mass injection of contaminants directly into the air valve. Three, adjust the air supply to the pump for the flow rate desired. The greater the air supply, the greater the flow rate. Excessive air supply to the pump is detrimental to our efficiency of operation. Even though this pump is capable of operating without liquid, doing so results in unnecessary wear on the internal parts of the pump, such as the shaft, O-rings, air valves, and diaphragms. Additionally, valuable compressed air is consumed with no benefits, and as we all know, excessive use of compressed air has a negative impact upon our gain share. Four, avoid damage to the external parts of the pump. The external wetted parts are investment cast 316 stainless steel. Make every effort to prevent damage due to being dropped, 
collision with other equipment and other destructive situations. The air valve body and piston are constructed of brass and aluminum and should be treated with care. This part contains a patented one moving part and should not be abused or tampered with. These procedures are few in number. However, if observed, will ensure a superior, highly reliable pump you can count on when needed. Should the pump fail to perform satisfactorily, there are a few quick troubleshooting procedures you can perform on site. First, disconnect the air supply before attempting any troubleshooting. Then, do the following. Check the oil reservoir for lubricant. Check the air exhaust muffler for blockage. Check the liquid inlet screen for partial or total blockage. If a suction hose is attached to the inlet, it must be of non-collapsible construction. This pump is capable of pulling up to 27 inches of vacuum and will collapse non-reinforced hoses or non-vented containers. Your drill and pump shop staff are thoroughly trained in the disassembly, repair, and reassembly of these pumps. This training is ongoing and conducted with factory trained personnel present to ensure accurate information is disseminated and proper procedures are followed. Genuine factory parts are on site and supported by the Arizona factory authorized full stocking distributor. Every effort is being expended to provide you with a reliable, cost effective dewatering pump. We realize your sense of urgency in attempting to make on-site repairs. The air-operated diaphragm pump is attractive for on-site repairs due to its simplicity. Please do not attempt on-site, on-location, disassembly, or repair of this item. Our experience indicates an increase in repair costs and downtime due to parts being lost and makeshift parts being substituted. Occasionally, this results in additional damage to the equipment. The pump we have selected has 60% less parts than any previously used at our underground facility. It greatly reduces operational costs and bench stock. As a matter of fact, current bench stock, which previously supported only seven pumps, now supports over 50. That's over a 700% increase in backup capability at no additional cost. Magma Copper Company is in a very competitive business. In order to maintain a competitive edge and job security, area teams have been set up throughout the property to problem solve and implement cost saving ideas. Our drill and pump shop team has made every effort to do just that and continually works to improve pump efficiency in the underground mine. We recognize that your help is critical to the continued success of this project and hope that the information presented in this video will help make your job less difficult and even more productive. Working together, we can make a difference.